Hello. Today we want to talk about image. Its image a very very popular、uh, data in our daily life. Of course, everybody loves take photo, right? Everybody have tons of photos on our cell phone, right? So, image has been a very basic、uh, multimedia data. Okay, compared to video,、uh, it's a kind of just one still, normally a、uh, rectangle、uh, image. Okay, but there are several other terms in computer science and how we can use different technology to present the color or the different. A scale size of the image. Okay, so let's talk about it, shall we? The first is that.、Uh, so our today's main character,、uh, main topic, image. Okay, I'm drawing something. Of course, if I later on capture. Okay, do the screen capture. I can create a pretty image. Okay, so first、uh, we know that the image they are two different type. Okay, but they look like a、uh, basically、uh, use a rectangle. Okay, rectangle. To define the dimension, okay, the kind of canvas, okay, of your image, okay, okay, you can use, and this place is a、uh, normally, okay, we use、uh, top left corner as our initial point, okay, and width and the height. And then we can subdivide the image, okay? Kind of subdivide it as a, a lot of small element, okay? And and each element we call a we call it pixel. Okay, actually, this is a a quite interesting name, quite common, but、um, it it is actually from the two words. Okay, pixel <coughs> is a picture element. Picture element. So pick. Uh, e L kind of use、uh, X. <laughs> I don't know.、Mm, borrow this. Kind of combine these two words. So picture element. Okay, as a pixel. So the problem is that the, the picture or the image normally we have a.、Uh, Um, not just a black and white. Yeah, it is. Sometimes we only have a black and white. If that's the case, only black and white. Each pixel element only have、uh, maybe you use a zero to represent black, and you use one this value to represent white. If that's the case, black and white image. Or by level image, yeah, each pixel will、uh, occupy only one bit, isn't it? Right, very simple, right? But if it's not only black and white, it's kind of uh, uh, gradually from the totally black to the、uh, totally white, but it's a kind of gradual change in lightness. 
in brightness. Okay, so uh, for example, for example, like a、uh, zero, zero is a black, but the Two hundred and fifty-five is a white. Okay, but from here to here, you kind of still in we call a gray, but a different level of the gray. Okay, a little bit, a little bit light, and、uh, more and more and more and more and totally white. Yeah. This kind of representation we call is a kind of grayscale image. Okay, our traditional、uh, monochrome TV. Yeah, we kind of use a grayscale, only lightness, only the brightness. Okay, still we can we can represent a lot, right? If that's the case, of course each pixel require we know. From zero to two five five, there two hundred fifty six actually, right? Combinations. So let's.、Uh, in this case, we require a bit. Okay, we require a bit to store for one pixel. Okay. So one pixel, a bit, which means one byte, right? Yeah. So in that case,、uh, of course, your image data size after digitize、uh, will will be quite a amount, right? Okay. Let's move on. Sometimes、uh, we want to take the A beautiful scenery. There's a color in it, right? So if that's the case, you need to use a we call a color model. Okay, color model to kind of mix the color together so that we can present very very colorful image. Okay. Nowadays,、uh, we use the RGB. Okay, R G. B, ah,、uh, is a very fundamental common color model. Okay, for each component, we normally give a A bit. Okay. Oh, that's that's a lot. Okay, A bit for R, A bit, G, A bit, B, A bit. Okay, to represent the color information, which means for each component you can have a zero to two five five. Okay. Yeah, you encounter that in、uh, kind of、uh, programming or some high level drawing function in JavaScript. You can assign this. Okay. So, and one last things I would like to mention about this kind of. Uh, uh, image we call what so far we are talking about this kind of image is we call a rastered raster base image. Okay, raster image they use a pixel element and according to its、uh, color color complexity to to describe the the color. Okay. Okay, so let's move back to our previous topic. What do I want to say is,、uh, in modern computers, sometimes we want to create a special、uh, effect. For example, you may want one image layer on top of the other, but kind of, kind of. Not completely cover 
on it. You want the, the underneath uh, image could kind of see through from here, okay? Which means the the top one, the the front one, need to be transparent, need to be kind of uh, uh, not 100% opaque, right? This is what we call the alpha channel, alpha channel, okay? In modern image processing tool, we will have this alpha channel. Wow, okay, that is a brief, very, very brief introduction to the digital uh, raster image, okay? And actually, there are another type of image uh, I want to talk to you about, okay? Is we call a vector image, okay? As opposed to raster image, use a pixel element to uh, store each color. Vector image uh, use a math, mathematical geometry. For example, line, line, or curve. Kind of describe the shape of the image. So why do vector image use this approach? Okay, there is a very very big uh, big issue in the raster image. When we want to zoom in the image or kind of enlarge the image, maybe two times bigger, you may find the raster image ten times bigger. You will start to see some artifact because the pixel element has been has been enlarged 10 times so very subtle uh, kind of artifact uh, we, we will easily to detect okay to avoid this you need to have the original source of image with a very very high dimension which means the resolution is extremely high of course that would take a lot of disk space or maybe your digital camera uh, have a amazing uh, sensor so that you can capture the, the super detail of the, the data okay so on the other hand vector vector image because we use a mass geometry to describe the shape they can avoid this because every time you scale up or scale down the image, they recalculate. So uh, this is their the good part of the vector space. So, okay. Okay. So uh, we have both. We need both because the vector image nobody used that to uh, to express the beautiful tree scenery because you know it's hard to describe the subtlety of the uh, of the picture, okay? Which require uh, uh, not something that cannot be captured through the math, okay? We need to describe the the subtle change of the element just from capturing. So we need both, okay? We actually need both. So as a computer scientist or the student who uh, first delve into this uh, programming journey, we need to know when should I use raster image and when should I use the vector image, okay? They are kind of trade-off. It is not, okay, this is always better than the other, or this is always bad, okay? No, okay. So that's it, okay? Uh, we will, uh, later on, we will look at the wiki uh, to see how wiki page talk about this two type of uh, mainstream, okay? Uh, the digital image. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.